analyst Marty Grove. Martin, do you think that the summer's box office success is going to flow into the fall? Well, Jim, it certainly looks that way. It's off to a nice start, as you just said. Now, movie audiences are hungry, definitely hungry for more. In fact, they're still keeping this summer's biggest films high on the box office chart. It was a milestone weekend for Columbia Pictures and Castle Rock, as In the Line of Fire shot past the $100 million mark. Our fugitive has been on the run for 90 minutes. The fugitive is running a mile ahead of its current box office competition and is closing in fast on the firm's cum of nearly $152 million. And last but definitely not least, Jurassic Park continues to rake in the dino dollars with a current domestic total of 319 million. Distribution sources predict Jurassic Park will soar to around 340 million dollars in the US and Canada. While Jurassic Park's domestic total is unlikely to surpass E.T.'s record-setting $359 million, the dinosaurs are well on their way to stomping on that extraterrestrial internationally. We're just going to have to wait and see. According to Forbes magazine, the talk show host earned an estimated $98 million for 1992 and 1993, making her the world's highest paid entertainer. Jurassic Park director Steven Spielberg came in a distant second at $72 million. Others on the top five include Bill Cosby, the rock group Guns N' Roses, and Prince. Cartoonist Charles Schultz is sixth, followed by Kevin Costner, the group U2, Garth Brooks, and magician David Copperfield.